My father was actually the inspiration for me getting into, into science. He worked for the Department of Agriculture as an extension agent, taking the results of scientific research to farmers. And I'd see bags of superphosphate molybdenum in the boot of the car and hear his stories over the dinner table. And I could see the value of the, of the work that he was doing and how much was improving uh, the agriculture of Tasmania. When I was about 14, my father brought back a textbook from America called, called Biophysics. I, of course, didn't know what it meant, nor did he, actually. But I got advice from, or he got advice from Ralph Slatcher, who was regarded as Australia's most eminent biophysicist. And Ralph advised that I should do physics and maths as an undergraduate and then bring those skills into biology. And that's how it started. Very early on, I, I worked on the problem of how much water plants need to grow and the, the compromises that plants make in that way. And it's strange that that's led to all sorts of opportunities to work with people internationally and, and non-academics, government and so on. That model that we produced has been widely applied, both in plant physiology and, and outside plant physiology, so it's used in climate models and in, indeed in, in some places in Europe it's used to help uh, predict the, the weather. So, so just that, that simple mathematical model has been uh, given an entree into a number of different uh, applications and, and areas, of, areas of research. Science is a long game, so for me it's involved excellent mentors and teachers. I've been really fortunate with the brilliant students and postdocs that I've had. I've been lucky to have had smart colleagues that have been collaborative and cooperative. It's part of a real team effort and that's what Mr Inamori and the Inamori Foundation are, are really recognising with this reward. I'm grateful to all the team and I hope that the reward itself will give impetus to others to take on a career like this in science.